Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 3x plus y equals 8. We'll call this our equation 1. And then xy plus, okay, xy equals 8. Then we call this our equation 2. Mind you, from equation 1, I can make y the subject. So that my y will now be 8 minus 3x. This is now our equation 3. So that every time we get the value of x, we can come back here and get the value of y. Okay, so the next thing is, what equation give birth to equation 3? It is equation 1. And then the next one is to write this equation 3 into equation 2. And our equation 2 is xy equals 8. Now, this x will come out. Then, in place of y, I'll write 8 minus 3x. And then I will equate to 8. From here, now we have just one unknown, which is x. But then, let's open the brackets minus 3x squared is equal to 8. I want to write this first, so we'll write minus 3x squared plus 8x equals 8. Now, we want to remove this negative so that we will not have um, a negative coefficient. So we have um, 3x as we multiply the whole of this by minus 1. This will turn to negative 8x, and then this will turn to negative 8. 3x squared minus 8x, this will turn to plus 8, is equal to 0. Now, we are having a quadratic equation. So, the next thing is, what method do we use to solve this quadratic equation? If we are going to use the formula method, then our a is 3. Our b is minus 8, which is this, and then our c is plus 8. That is the constant. What is the formula? x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything divided by 2 times a. Now, our x will be minus 3, sorry, minus b, that will be minus minus 8. Now, this might confuse some persons, right? But this negative is out, and b itself is equal to minus 8. So you are supposed to have these two signs, or else you will be wrong. Then we have b squared, which will be minus 8 in bracket squared. Then if you fail to put this in bracket again, you will have a wrong answer. Because if this is not in bracket, then the negative is left out. Then we have minus 4 times a, a is 3. Then times um, c, our c is 8. So we divide the whole of this by 2 times 3, because a is um, 3. Let's continue. x is now 8 negative negative will give positive 8 then plus or minus minus 8 squared is 64 then minus 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 8 is 96 then we divide by 2 2 times 3 is 6 so let's write 6 here now what do i do i am going to Subtract what I have under the root. So we have 8 plus or minus 64 minus 96 will give us minus 32. Then we divide by um, 6. But mind you, I can simplify this. So I have x equals 8 plus or minus square root of 32 times square root of negative 1. Okay, so that is the simplification I was talking about. Now, to continue, x will now be 8 
plus or minus this 32 can, can also be simplified so i have square root of 32 is um 16 multiplied by 2 then multiply by square root of negative 1 and everything is over 6 okay so to continue x will be 8 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 this is actually 6 square root of 16 is 4 then we have root 2 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write i then we are dividing all of this by 6. Now, this is the same as x equals 8 plus or minus. We have 4i root 2. This i can multiply 4. So we have this. And then we divide by 6. From here, we can simplify this. So that x is equal to 2 can go there. We have 4 plus or minus. The same thing will go there. And we have 2i, then we have root 2. But the whole of this will still be divided by 3 because 2 is dividing everything. Now, from here, we mean we have that x is 4 plus 2i root 2 over 3, or 4 minus 2i root 2 over 3. So remember, I told you we'll go back to equation 3, which is y equals 8 minus 3x. Now, y now will be 8 minus 3 into, what is x? 4 plus 2i root 2, all over 3. Close that, we have 3 under. Mind you, this can go there. So we have y now to be equal to 8 then let's open this bracket this negative will open the whole bracket so we have from negative 4 then negative 2i root 2 now our y is 4 minus 2i root 2 so when x is equal to 4 plus 2i root 2 divided by 3 y is equal to 4 minus 2i root 2. So this is what we have. But mind you, I still have another value of x. So that means I should get an, um, I should get the corresponding value of y. So we still have y to be equal to 8 minus 3x. This time around, y will be 8 minus 3 into what will be the value of x okay i used this before now i'm going to use this and i will be having um 4 minus 2 i root 2 everything is divided by 3 the one i used before was positive now it's negative this will still go with that so that y will be 8 then minus times 4 is minus 4. Minus times the whole of this will turn to plus 2i. Then root 2. Meaning that y is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4. Then we have plus 2i root 2. So we are equally saying that when x is equal to 4 minus 2i root 2 divided by 3 y is equal to 4 plus 2i divided by root 2. Sorry, multiply by root 2. Remember, this is i. So, this is another solution to the equation. Thank you for watching. If you love the method I applied, you can subscribe to my channel because that way you will be supporting me.